Hello everyone, um, today I'm going to be showing you how I record my drums on my electric drum set. So here's how I start off. So the first thing I do is I um, create a new track and I select software instrument and press create and then over here you have the option of drum kit and then you can like um, choose which one and I usually either choose heavy or smash so I usually choose smash but it really depends on your genre you're playing and to sample the sound um, before you can just press command K and then mess around and see if you like the sound and then exit out Another thing that's really important is to make sure you have an external hard drive. Um, this one is an extra terabyte and I always have it on me. Um, it's just because these sessions take up a lot of space. So make sure to have some extra hardware with you. That's highly recommended. Then um, here's my electric drum set. Um, I have an extra drum throne to um, keep my laptop on when I'm making the videos. Now we must power on the module. And um, I have a USB Thunderbolt MIDI cable. And this is how you, it transfers the MIDI data. So you must plug that into one of your USB ports. Then after you plug that in, um, you can start to hear the sounds. Um, it is very quiet because that is just coming out of the computer audio. What I like to do next is, um, as you can see here, I have a little splitter connected to the eighth inch jack. And then I plug in my aux cord, an eighth inch jack is also referred to as an aux cord so I plug that in right there and I'll do that right now for my headphones I like to use my Shure SE215 in-ear headphones um, they're really great for drumming because they cancel everything around you and so you can hear all your audio perfectly while you're playing a backing track so here I have them right there and um, you're gonna just plug it in into the splitter I just put in my in-ear monitor headphones. So um, what I like to do next is uh, either set a clip track or drag in the backing track of the song I'm gonna choose to cover or something. Just, it really depends on what videos I'm making. So in this case, I'm just gonna create a clip track just for the sake of the video because it's easier. So. I'm going to show you how to do that in Logic Pro X. So um, the automatic click track is set to 120 and to turn it on and off you just select this little metronome button and then when you press space, the space bar it starts to go and um, to change the BPM you can just drag down and for this video I'm just going to keep it at 95. 95, it's 96, right there, and um, so it's a little bit slower. Sometimes it's really um, easy for your drums to overpower the click, so what I like to do is add another instrument track, so another software instrument track, and then um, I like to go to the percussion and add um, performance patches and for me I like to have um, a cowbell sound playing. I like to have a cowbell sound because it's the easiest to follow along in my opinion. So we're gonna press command K again. We're gonna go here to this editor track. Um, I like to pencil in um, the MIDI data so you just click here on the little pencil just press pencil tool right there and um I just like put out one of the, the wood blocks I like a lower sound 
like that and then to make it louder you just you just drag the velocity button louder and then you just press and then you pencil it in again to two and then beat three and then beat four then the nice thing about um, this software and any DAW software is you could just loop it so you don't have to do it all over again so it plays the same exact sound so here Now that that's created, we're gonna go back to the Smash Drum Set and we're gonna start recording. You always wanna make sure you're on the, dr the track and make sure it's the MIDI drum track and then always record enable. So make sure the R is bright red and a shortcut to record is just to hit R. Now that we're all set up, um, we can just record. When that's all done um, and you're happy with your takes, you just will bounce the file and I'll show you how to do that right now. So if you want your clip track to be playing while you um, are recording on this, you can just keep it there. But if you don't want it, you could just mute, mute it right there. But for this video, I'm just gonna keep it. So I'm just gonna select everything with the looper tool up to where I recorded to. I'm gonna press file, bounce, projects or session, or the shortcut is command B. Um, and I put it as PCM, press okay, and then save it, rename the session. Um, I just named it drum recording one, press bounce. and then we're set. So you're gonna go to your finder and then this is in my passport. And here it is right there, drum recording one wave. If you filmed your video at the same time, you're gonna have to go to a movie editing software. And what I like to use is Final Cut Pro. But um, when you're in a movie editing software, um, you have to, make sure the video the drum recording in the video is matched in perfectly in sync so i'll show you that so i'm in final cut pro and i have a session open already so i'm going to do select file new new project um then i'm just going to name it drum recording one and press ok so i imported and dragged my video in the wave file so I already matched it just the sit just for the sake of time reason so I'm gonna play it. Um and then I lower this the video track because I don't want that unwanted electric drum set sound. It sounds much nicer now. And you can tell it's in time because the wave files kinda match the video files. But also, sometimes that isn't the case, so it is like a little bit of trial and error. Then I'll crop it to the length given. Like this. Mute it. Alright, so here we have it. An electric drum recording. If you liked my video, um, Please subscribe, follow my Instagram and my Facebook and my Patreon.
My Patreon is a great way to help support me. You can subscribe for $1, $5, or $10 a month. And you can just check the links right into the description right below. Alright.